up ahead there is something called the Gates of Versar and Navionix wants me to go through that little gap and I've decided not to, I've decided to go around it because it looks oh, I'll try and hold steady for you guys it looks quite small oh, got awake, I won't be able to hold steady yeah, definitely going around that and there's a better view of the gates and of uh, Versar in the background. It's like a pretty little town, I'm looking forward to exploring it later. So we've arrived, we've anchored just outside uh, Versar. Let me see if I can see Versar in the background there. Uh, hopefully you can see that. That's the church tower there is Versar. And we're in a very shallow anchorage. I think we're anchored at the moment. What does it say? It says we're in 1.7, 1.8 meters. Boat's quite close to us, which isn't the most thrilling, uh, so we may re-anchor later when the day boat is leave. Candace, where are you? Uh, hi, Anne. We're waiting for you. What are you doing? They didn't <laughs> want to go to shore. They jumped onto the paddleboard. Okay. I guess we better take them to shore. Yeah. So, here's something you don't see every day. Your anchor. Seems we are in very shallow water. Hopefully not on the ground, but I think it gets shallower in that direction. And with the anchor there and 10 meters of chain out, we could go in that direction. And we're leaving Versar. Uh, there was actually just quite a nice little town. Um, the problem was the anchorage was taken over by mooring balls, and uh, so there's very little space for us. And where we did anchor, we ended up overnight in just uh, 0 0.9 meters of water, and uh, it's uh, not enough for me to feel comfortable. Um, but also the wind uh, is going to be from the northerly tonight, which means that the Anchorage is just south of Rodney might be good, and uh, hopefully we'll have a little space. We're going through a motorboat's wake, which is one of my least favourite things. And there's a little lighthouse right up ahead that apparently has a lot of rays living around it. There we go, you can see the little lighthouse. So we're going to make a little bit of a close-ish turn to the lighthouse, and Candace is sitting in the front, and she's going to see if she can see anything from the front of the boat. In terms of speed, we've got about 400 watts on each motor, and we're doing about 3, 3.3, 3.4 knots. Um, it is an overcast day, there isn't any direct sun, but uh, solar panels are making enough to keep us sort of neutral at the moment, so we're making about 8 or 900 watts of power. And the sun is predicted to come out later. Uh, the battery banks are full. Um, but there is a little bit of rain in the distance, and uh, potential for a little bit more. So today won't be a race, it will be a nice slow, easy move, uh, just so we don't run out of battery. So just shy of a thousand watts on each motor again. We've got a little bit of a tailwind, two or three knots. Uh, but we're doing quite nice, we're doing 4.6, 4.7 knots. And, uh, oh, there we go, 4.6, 4.7, but given the sea state, I'm actually quite happy with that, because it is pretty lumpy out there, and we've got Lots of big wakes coming and going, um, but yeah, not too bad. We should be in Robinie in about two hours. In fact, you can see it up ahead there. I can hold the camera steady enough. That little tower is what we're aiming for, but we're going to go around the back of it. 
so around a kilowatt on each motor. Um, still the slight tailwind, still doing good speed, 4.7, 4.9 knots. And uh, we're charging at the moment at about 400 watts. So we must be bringing in about two and a half kilowatts. And uh, getting annoyed by all the speedboats going past. I think speedboats are the smokers of the modern world. They, they ruin the sea around them for everybody. And we've taken a bit of a detour to get nice and close to Rovini. Get some nice video footage as we go around. A beautiful town. I'm going to see if I can see it from the drone later. I'm not sure how far from Rovini will be by air with the drone. I uh, might not be able to see it. We might have to do some, some drone footage from Rovini itself in another day. Probably the prettiest town I've been to in Croatia yet. It's funny, it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look that pretty from the sea. It looks unusual. But it doesn't show you just how pretty the place is. Yeah, this side is prettier. Or is it just the light? This is the light. This side has prettier light. In case people aren't aware, this is the easterly cardinal marker. So all the yellow and black markers with these triangles on them are cardinal markers. And uh, two triangles, top and bottom, is east. Uh, the, the rest are quite easy. Uh, two triangles facing away from each other, sorry, is east. When they face to each other, it's west. It kind of looks like a W on its side. And then north and south is two up or two down. It's simple, and you must pass on the side that tells you to pass. And in this case, you can see the very shallow water. And clearly, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't try and cut through unless you're in a tiny boat like this guy. There's another cardinal marker. Uh, this one, if you turn your screen sideways, you'll see it looks like a W. And that means you've got to go west. The two triangles are facing each other. Now what's interesting is they're actually not two triangles. They're actually two cones, uh, but from any direction then they look like triangles, and that's why they use cones for them instead of triangles. The triangle from the side would just look like a line. Came back to the same anchors we used last time we were in Rodney. Um, there were a couple of other options. There are two in uh, that direction, you can see a couple of those there. And then around the corner here, there was, uh, uh, sorry, there are two here, one over there. Uh, both of them very small, very busy. And so we ended up here, which is uh, quite a good anchorage. Good protection from the northwest all the way to the east, it looks like. And uh, so I think we're going to be quite, quite chilled here tonight. And behind that house over there, is a lovely path. We're going to walk all the way to Rovini later and uh, enjoy ourselves in the town. So our new neighbours have arrived and uh, they've got a fairly nice boat. I hope they don't make a mistake late at night and climb onto the wrong one because I, I wouldn't like to swap with them. That's going to take a lot of anti-fouling. Uh, I see they're putting their dinghy in the water, which I imagine costs more than my boat. And uh, must be the primary guest on the back there, getting ready to embark. Not the clearest footage, but yeah, that's a big, 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 big boat.
If you've been watching uh, our videos for some time, you'll know that we left Pula last year, sailed all the way to Venice, uh, decided to return back to Croatia again and uh, spent some time in Monfalcone. Went back to just outside Venice for the winter, a little place called Aprilia Maritima, and uh, that's where we left from earlier. We did that stop in Grado and we followed the coastline all the way down, and uh, we made it all the way back to Pula again. Anyway, Thanks for watching.